Hey guys, it's Misha from Scraps and Things 1 with a little tutorial just in case somebody hasn't seen it or doesn't know how to um, do the binder clip coverings or is um, skeptical about what kind of glue to use. This is a really big binder clip, so it's about two inches wide and this is about um, a three quarters of an inch and then that and then the other side sorry if you hear my dogs barking we have a temporary rescue here and they're going crazy so so I cut my paper and I use this quick dry tacky glue. Some might use the scotch. I had used it, but I find that the scotch has a hard time squeezing out when you get to a certain uh, level of fullness or, you know, whatever you want to call it in the bottle. So this is what I'm doing because I wanted to accent my designer paper with another color so I'm using this scrap um, that I had and then what I do is I kind of you saw me squirt the glue on and then I uh, rub it out I spread it out so that it it doesn't um, ooze out when I put it on and then I slide it up under the rim there and roll it around and slide it up under there okay and then you can put a bow on. My plan, I'm making several of these. My plan is to use these as um, picture holders. So say this is my picture, which it's just a piece of scrap paper, but this is my picture. So I'm gonna put a bow on and it's only gonna go down. So like the bow will be down here and then my picture will be up here or my card, or, you know, whatever it is that um, I want to um, put in here. And then to decorate it, like, you can put some gems on it and flowers if you want to. You can gloss the accent over it if you want that shiny finish. I don't bother doing that, but um, you could. The way that I covered this, and what I do is, I'll show you this again, because I have another one I want to do is I take it, the paper on the end, or I use a bone folder on the end of my table to break the fibers up in my paper. So then it's easier to slide it up under there, roll it around, and slide it up under that rim. Now I could just leave it like this but I'm going to put this decorative piece of paper on and I think it will um, coordinate pretty nicely. See that? And then I'll put a ribbon and I'll tie a bow and then the picture, the card, the business card, whatever it is you're going to put in here can sit on the top in this little part here. So that is how I do them. Um, I'll probably put little flowers on and I will probably put a few, um, either I'll use beads in the bottle, some perfect pearls, or I'll put on some flat back pearls just to add some, bling it up a little bit. So it's all up to you on how you want to do it. And then I find some coordinating ribbon, like 
I have this ribbon that I think, look at how nice that works. So, and then I'll tie it in the bow. And how I do that, I'll do one for you. Is, okay, so I figure out which is going to be my back and which is going to be my front. So this is going to be the front. And then I put it in like this. Did you see that? I went through. Then I'll do the other side the same way and go through and pull it around to the front. Let me get scissors and I'll cut a piece off here. So then I'll do this like this. My husband's coming down, so if you hear grunting, it's him. Um, and then I'll just tie it in the bow, like so. And a really decent looking bow so that, you know, uh, if you give it to someone as a gift, they're actually going to want it um, and want to use it. You know, I'm just going to do a haphazard bow. But for the purpose of me showing you the video on how I do it, it's not going to be perfect. I'll fix it later. But, and then the picture can slide in right up here. And that's it. So thanks for watching. See you with my next video.